We must protect Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas at all costs. He is America's leading moral compass. He is this generation's Frederick Douglass. He is that important and the left wants him dead. Happy Friday and welcome to Fearless with Jason Whitlock. I am Jason Whitlock. I'm going to back up and justify that statement I just made about Clarence Thomas. He is our Frederick Douglass. The left does want him dead. His life is in jeopardy. We must protect him at all costs. I just want to start with just showing you a bit of the vitriol that's being tossed at Clarence Thomas. Here's Lori Lightfoot, the mayor of Chicago, a Democrat politician saying F Clarence Thomas to a crowd. Now we know what happened with the Supreme Court yesterday. If you read Clarence Thomas' concurrence, he said, thank you, Clarence Thomas. Here's Whoopi Goldberg going after Clarence Thomas on The View. We were not in the Constitution either. Well, we were not even people he is in the Constitution. He nothing is pressing what, anymore. Well, you better but hope Clarence. that they don't come for you, Clarence, and say you should not be married to your wife, oh. who happens to be white, because they will move back. And you better hope That's that nobody it. says, you know, well, you're not in the Constitution. You're back to being a quarter We're of a person. We're back to the 50s. That's not going to work either. Here's Hillary Clinton going after Clarence Thomas. Justice Thomas has sort of floated that out there about contraceptive rights, yes. contraception, and about same-sex marriages. But other justices have pushed back to say, no, he's really sort of on his own with that. Well, Don't he, believe that? Well, he may be on his own, but he's signaling, as he often did. You know, people, I went to law school with him. Mm -hmm. He's been a, a person of grievance for as long as I've known him. Resentment, grievance, anger. And he has signaled uh, in the past to lower courts, to state legislatures, to find cases, pass laws, get them up. I may not win the first, the second, or the third time, but we're going to keep at it. So you're saying people pay attention to yes, this? Yes, the people he is speaking to, which are the you know, right-wing, very conservative judges and justices and state legislatures, and the thing that uh, is, well, there's so many things about it that are deeply distressing, but women are going to die, Gail. Women will die. Look, man, <clears throat> when they are trying to stir the pot, when they're trying to set an atmosphere for a man to be harmed, particularly a black man, they do it with women. What? Well, Again, when, when someone is about to be lynched, when someone is, is a target, they justify it with women. They've been after Clarence Thomas with women from the very beginning, from Anita Hill. It's not a coincidence that all these women are coming out against Clarence Thomas. He did not write the majority opinion in the overturn of Roe v. Wade. Alito did. But Clarence Thomas is the target. Clarence Thomas is the person the left wants to stir up enough chaos, division, animosity, anger towards so that some nut job takes him out. If you go back to when Jen Psaki was the spokesperson for uh, Joe Biden and she wouldn't put a stop she wouldn't say, hey, look, the president and, and our administration, we're completely against all this protest and this civil disobedience outside the homes of Supreme Court justices. That was when they were protesting outside Brett Kavanaugh's house and someone tried to harm Brett Kavanaugh. But the number one target is Clarence Thomas. And he's the number one target because black men, our journey, our purpose as America's 
moral compass is why America became the envy of the world. And there has been one man, and yes, he's flawed, and sure, I'm sure he's made mistakes, he's not a perfect person, but there's been one man willing to step up in those same shoes as Frederick Douglass, as Booker T. Washington, as Martin Luther King, and it's Clarence Thomas. He is our moral compass right now for this country, pushing America to a better place, and the left wants to stop it.